Roy and Lauren Morning Show, War of the Roses. Corinne, you sent us a message and you said that you, you're dating somebody who you're not sure really where your relationship is. You and Mike had this kind of arrangement, we'll call it, aka booty call, um, at first, and then it grew into an actual relationship. But now you're not sure quite where you stand. Why, like, why all of a sudden? So I've been dating him for a month. Like, I mean, we're getting really clo- close. Like, we said we'd be exclusive. And um, the other day when I was at his place, I saw that he had, like, a clicker to, like, a storage locker. And I asked him, like, like, what is this? And then he was kind of, like, a little shady about it. And then he pretty much said that, like, oh, it's just, like, his stuff. Um, I asked him if he was married. And he was like, no, I'm not married. I was married. Um, like, a bunch of our stuff is still shared there. And it's not a big deal. Mm. Um, and then he just kind of brushed it off. Okay. And you think that, in reality, he's still married? I don't know. Like, it, it was just a little weird. Like, I don't know why, um, like, he didn't really, like, I didn't actually know he was married before um, to begin with. Um, so, yeah. The fact that but that he, was even hidden from you, you're, you're, you're now all nervous. Okay. Guys, that's where y'all's brain goes. I clearly watch too much TV because I think you're dating Joe from you. <laughs> the storage unit. Oh. <laughs> Corinne, are you, so so you're thinking that Mike's going to either send, send you the roses or he's going to send his wife the roses? Yeah, I mean, I, I hope that he sends it to me, and then I'll know that like we don't really have any issues, and I'm just overreacting. But are you hoping that this blossoms into a relationship? Yeah, I really okay. like him. All right, okay, I'm down him up. Here we go. Hello. Hi, I'm looking for Mike, please. Uh, yeah, that's me. Hi, Mike. My name is Justine. I'm calling from Flowers for You. Um, I have your name and number here as the winner of our Text to Win uh, contest. And one of your friends entered you, and you have won $100 in beautiful free red roses. Wow. So, Mike, do you have someone that you have in mind that you'd like to send romantic roses to free of charge? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, so, Mike, I just need... <laughs> um, Okay, so Mike, who would you like to send these romantic roses to then? Um, yeah, if you could send them to uh, Julie. I have yeah. a card to go with Julie's flowers. Oh, uh, great. Um, yeah, so you need some uh, something to put on there. Um, if you could just say, Jules, uh, here's a little something to brighten your day. Uh, thinking about you. Who's Jules? Uh, I'm sorry, who, who is this I'm talking to you now? Mike, you're not on the phone with the flower company. You're on the phone with the main one of the Red Morning Show. It's a segment called War of the Roses where we bust cheaters, and that's what you are. Your girlfriend, <laughs> Corinne's on the phone as well. She heard everything. So I would probably start to explain myself if I were you, Mike. Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still a little confused about what... Uh, Corinne, is it what... Why are you... Did you set this up? What's going on? I want answers, and I I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep quiet until you give me some answers. Who's Julie? Like I knew something was off when you were being so shady with the storage locker. I don't understand why you're lying to me. Like I care about you. Like why are you doing this? Um, Julie is my was my wife, and I told you about her. No, Wait. I don't think you did, Mike. So you're still married? I mean you. you Clearly, Corinne's just your side piece. Um, yeah, but I thought that's what we. And I'm not. I'm not cheating. I'm, this is. This is all. I mean, I've been. My wife knows about you, and I know about she's dating somebody too. I know about him. Um, we're just trying to work it out and see if we can keep the keep the marriage going. So you're uh, saying this is an open relationship? Right yeah. Yeah. Okay, but Mike. You have to be open with all parties involved, not just one-sided. I mean, Corinne didn't know that you were currently married. Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought that I, I thought that I'd been clear. I guess uh, no, you haven't. In fact, no, 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 Mike. In fact, you said uh, Corinne told us that when she found the storage thing, uh, you said it was for your ex-wife that you're going through a divorce with. You know what? I mean, I hope he finds happiness with his ex-wife or current wife or whatever it is. Like, I actually cared about you, Mike, but this is just 
Like, I don't even know what to think. I, I'm going to have a hard time trusting someone in the future just because of what you did. I, I hope you're happy. I hope your wife is happy. Next time, maybe be clear about everything. So you're not, you, you, it doesn't matter to you that his wife knows about you, that she told him about you. Um, yeah, no, quite the opposite. Um, I don't, I think it's creepy. I don't know if it's like a swinger thing or what you guys are into, but this is not normal and I, I don't want to be any part of it. it. You know, it's one thing to say that, uh, that you, that you feel personally hurt and that like I didn't communicate properly, but it's another thing to like judge and shame somebody for, for the way that they choose to live their life. Okay, either way, it's over. Corinne, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's who over. Cares about your feelings. Yeah, M Mike, it's over. Corinne's not interested. And uh, Corinne, sorry you, you had to find out on War of the Roses, but your hunch was right. Now you know. Yeah, and now I know. Thanks, guys.